What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in again. Again, that's right, here on this busy, busy May 21st, 2021 is the date. 3.22 p.m. Check out the Earthquake 3D Globe, folks. We are in a very, very active uh, pattern right now. Numbers, right? 21, 21. Of course, uh, numbers don't really matter. Sometimes it was, sometimes we get these events happening on certain dates. But either way, folks, check out this. Another large earthquake, 6.8. 10 kilometers, really shallow out here around the Fiji Islands area. That's a pretty significant quake. This comes after the 7.4, 7.3 earthquake in China. You can see that there on the map there. Downgraded from a 7.2 to a 7.4 to a 7.3. Significant nonetheless, regardless of the downgrade. There is that 6.8 right there just to the east, northeast of Fiji Islands. This is pretty shallow for this region. Of course, over the last couple of weeks here, we have been watching some significant deep movement. Actually, the Pacific Plate in general uh, on this side has been showing a, an enormous amount of uh, deep movement. Lots of fours, lots of fives throughout the region. Uh, I think this is a, a telltale sign of some uh, impending large quakes to come. Uh, we could see potentially another one. Uh, here soon. I've always looking at the different uh, pressure differences here. We'll talk about that here in just a second. I don't want to get too far off on it. A little bit of a uh, text on the 6.8 quake there. I don't believe there's going to be any tsunami watch with it. Uh, we'll go ahead and check that just for the heck of it. Uh, what do we got here? 6.8. No tsunami watch, advisory watch, or threat in place from this earthquake. Once again, that 6.8, pretty uh, pretty significant there, folks. Let's go back over here. Um, and talk about this a little bit, what we've seen here. Um, I, a lot of pressure moving to the west, folks, that's, that's for sure, from, from the east. And the Pacific Plate is an enormous plate, right? It, it does pack a punch when it comes to movement. Um, and I still think, I really still think, folks, that we're still looking at potential for a larger scale movement here in Japan uh, in this trench area. Uh, it's, it's very possible we could see that still. Over here in the east, eastern Pacific, things are completely dying out. So we are, I don't believe we're done here yet, folks. If you kind of look at this region here uh, as a whole, Pacific Plate as a whole, I think we're still looking at possible movement in this region. We'll cover that a little bit more in detail, folks. <clears throat> but for now, for now, very active day, let me tell you. Another 6.8. Another sizable magnitude here, uh, just about uh, oh, about 100 miles or so off the coast of Fiji. No tsunami statement, no tsunami warning. 10 kilometers, very shallow for that earthquake right there. We'll chat you guys a little bit later on on the update uh, video later this evening, folks. You can see that uh, earthquake showing up significantly on the... Solomon Islands uh, station, that's going to be this one right here. And no doubt, the Earth is still ringing vibrational frequencies from that 7.4. Um, it's just this whole thing could trigger a, a pretty significant uptick. It's already triggering it. Uh, we could see this significant uptick continue, folks, I believe. Uh, I'm watching volcanoes pretty closely as well. I know we had a little bit of uh, uptick in volcanic activity along the Aleutian Islands up there. We'll check that out a little bit later on uh, this evening on an update video, folks. In the meantime, have a good day and uh, stay safe out there. It's getting a really active.